Yeah, I was so disappointed. It's hard. It's never nice losing a game, and especially here. So, um, yeah, not nice feeling at the minute. And there were similar sort of defensive failings that we saw in, in Sofia. How worrying is that for you? Yeah, just getting used to it. I think change of change of style and and uh, not much match games and, and match fitness from between the lads and. And we're trying to trying to get up to speed against the international game. So uh, yeah, a couple of mistakes there tonight again. But uh, you just got to keep going, strong mindset, and, and hope uh, hopefully we can we can get it right for the big one next month. Can you put your finger on why there are those mistakes? though? is it easier to change the system and change the midfield? No, I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's, there's just, there's a lot of things there. It wasn't it wasn't perfect game tonight, of course, but. Um, Maybe not as a, not an excuse, but lack, lack of match fitness and and stuff like that. But yeah, we've got to we've got to sort it out quick. Obviously, it's it's not good, and and the better teams will punish you more. So what does it mean for Slovakia next month? Yeah, we've got to pick ourselves up. We still got to believe and and trust what we're doing. And it's still early days. I know it's not nice saying it, but. We've got, to, we've got to keep going and, and pushing ourselves and, and wanting to get better and, and wanting to play this way and, and this, is, this is the way the managers decide to play and, and we've got to get used to it quick or, or you won't play. Shane, would you be concerned that there's probably only two more training sessions ahead of the Slovakia game to get used to this new system, that you're going into this massive game, a European Championship qualifier, sort of a little bit untested with this system? Um, well, we'll have, a, we'll have a month that we'll have games under our belts in the league games, and, and a lot of the lads will be in a better condition, better, more games under our belts, so I'm more confident that the lads come back, and hopefully we get majority of the lads playing every week, and, and we come back a lot sharper, a lot quicker, mentally as well. It's it's tiring out there when you're tired and you make the wrong decisions and, and stuff like that, so I'm more confident. Obviously, we'd rather more sessions and stuff, get used to the manager, but... Hopefully everyone gets a few more league games under the belt and, and we come back a lot sharper. You know when you're physically 100% what it feels like on the pitch. How far off that would you have said you were over these last couple of games? It's been tough, obviously very tough. And I'm just going off my own experience. I haven't played a lot of football in, in a year. So uh, it's a grind, but that's where I want to be. I want to, I want to be playing out there every week. And I know it's not perfect at the minute and I know I'm my biggest critic. So. I know I've got to improve and, and keep going, but I've I've been I've been here I've been there before where I know what I need to do and, and get back to get back to my best and ho hopefully I can and get that now with obviously a move but it's different, it's different. Obviously poor mentally, as I said before, like them them slight seconds for the goal tonight and you're tired and, and you and you try and stay up instead of going with a run, so it's uh them little decisions. How different is your role in this system compared to the last couple of managers? Are there, are there different expectations on you as a centre back? I don't know. Um, I just go out there and try and play my game. Of course, it's it's a little bit different because our full backs want to be a lot higher in it. And it's uh, we were two v two a lot tonight against our two strikers, so you got to get used to it. But I'm used to it. I know people want to say what they want to say about me, but I can defend in one v one situations. I've done it in the Premier League and an international level, but it's easy excuses for people to write it or say that I can't defend against one v one and on quick. But uh, I back myself, and I don't see many players really getting the better of me. So. so uh, no, it's, it's it's a position of centre half. You've got to deal with quick players as as the position I'm in. I've got to deal with big spaces. I've got to deal with being on the ball, and and hopefully I'm trying to get better at that. You've obviously got a big move coming up now, and you're going to have a lot of games at club level. Do you expect to talk to Stephen over the next month? I know he was doing say, Zoom calls over the summer, and that do you, do you expect to have contact before you come back in? Well, I don't know what the manager decides. Of course, we'd like to all stay in touch. I know Keith's touched on it there that. Hopefully, me and John and him can can have a little Zoom calls and and see what we need to do better and stuff like that and what we're comfortable with and and how we can do it for obviously the big game against Slovakia. So we need to get it right for that. 
I don't know. Um, it's just relationships. It doesn't just doesn't click like that, you know. It's it's easier said than done, and I know I'll keep going back there. But we're not actually at our match fitness, at our peaks, and we've never sort of been in international games like that before. So it's a new, this whole year's new to everyone. So, uh, but we know each other. It's just taking time, obviously, get going again and get the understanding and and try and get. Obviously, we're trying to play a bit higher up the li- higher up the pitch and let the midfield go and press, and and we can win the ball higher up. We've done it quite a few times tonight. And we had chances from it, so uh, we just got to keep working on that and the communication. And first half we got uh, we got done with Puki, and and then obviously for the goal, so there's a, a lot of improvement to be done. Do you find the new style demanding, either physically or mentally? No, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Obviously, I'm not at my peak fitness, at which I'd rather be at. And when you are defending big spaces, it's it's you get tiring, and and that's probably what dealt with it in the end, which which ain't great. So, uh, but I'm enjoying it. I like the way we're playing. I think we're we're controlling the games a lot more in our way, and a silly a silly goal tonight again, which which ain't like this. But um, I'm enjoying it. Well, we've got to, we can't dwell on it. I don't think we have time to dwell on it. We've got a big game coming up next month, so we've got such belief in that dressing room, and we've been knocked down before and, and come back, so uh, we've stronger been there, and, and we've got the likes of Duffer and, and Keith, who's been there and, and done it as well, so we're confident that we can, we can go on and get it right for next month. Shane, is there anything also that we can take out of the same time that we can generate? You've got to obviously new style, new. I think we're we're controlling games. Both games, I think we controlled a lot better than what we have in the past, and obviously not the results we wanted, which which is what we're here for. But we've got to take confidence, new system, new style, and and keep trying to work on it. Obviously not the not the week we wanted, and disappointing week overall. Actually, only getting one point, but uh, we'll keep fighting, and and that's what we'll do. Do you think the manager is any closer than his best 11 plus the back of the game? And if not, over the last week, is that a good or a bad thing? Um, oh, that's, that's his decision, obviously. Back day where the lads are going to go back to their clubs and, and see who's playing well and and who's playing the most minutes and, and performing at their best. And that will probably help the manager in the next couple of weeks to decide who he wants to play and who's at the peak and, and who's not. Yeah, of course. Obviously, it's been it's been a hectic week for me, and I've tried to put all that to the side, and obviously concentrating on Ireland and I'm do everything what I what I try and do for Ireland. So, uh, as I said, I'm still a bit disappointed at the minute because obviously I'm, we haven't won the game and, and we haven't played that great. So, uh, obviously, when tonight settles, I can wake up in the morning and I'm just put my head on Celtic and and try and get fit and, and play as many games as I can and and do well up there.